since I came up with the uh, neck knife survival kit, probably, oh, good night, it's like got to be almost 20 years, going on 20 years, I started carrying a neck knife survival kit back in the early 2000s. And uh, several years after carrying it, I made a video of it for my uh, YouTube channel. The video has been well, well received. The concept has been well, well received. And I get asked all the time, what knife would you use uh, to recreate this uh, this neck knife kit? What knife would be a good one? I've given some recommendations over the years of production commercial knives like the uh, Becker BK-11. In fact, I was camping with Ethan Becker and I showed him uh, my neck knife and uh, <clears throat> he now calls it the McIntyre rig. So it's good to have that endorsement from Ethan. But uh, it's just a great concept. And my old neck knife has been getting kind of long in the tooth. I've been carrying it uh, all over North and South America for almost 20 years now. And recently partnered with Sean Mullenbelt to design and produce a from the ground up neck knife survival kit where the knife and the sheath are both designed uh, with making a kit in mind. And I've got it here. It's just one of them. You can see this is uh, the knife itself. I should probably have Sean come on the camera and describe this this <laughs> knife. Yeah, the the original knife uh, wasn't designed originally to be a neck knife survival kit. It was just a, a good uh, drop point, uh, like a leaf shaped blade, which I really in, enjoyed that shape of blade and the handle was was really good. Uh, Newt uh, Live Say does a great job with his handles, but I wanted the knife to be a little bit larger. I wanted a little bit more blade and a little bit more handle, and the original was cord wrapped, which. Uh, up in Alaska after shooting a lynx, uh, skinning it out, it got all soaked with, uh, with lynx fat and it was just not a, a good deal. So uh, we wanted to go with a different handle material that would handle uh, blood guts and, and mess uh, better. So the blade itself is 1095. What was the thickness on the blade? That one is 530 seconds at the five, spine. Okay, yep. 530 seconds, 1095. 1095 is, is not like a whiz-bang miracle steel, but it's it's good. It's a good steel and it's easy to sharpen in the field, especially. Um, Rockwell on these? 59. 59, right so 59. it's nice and hard. Yep. Um, now, it's a system. It's not just a knife, it's also the sheath. And the, the sheath, it locks in nice and, nice and secure because it's designed to be carried in the vertical like that and not bounce out. Um, but the sheath itself is also a little bit larger than my original I've been carrying for so long because I wanted more space to include more uh, survival gear and, and have the placement correct. Um, maybe we can take this and get a, get a close up over oh, our yeah. and uh, show you what it looks like close up. Sounds good. Okay, the idea, the, the concept of the neck knife survival kit is to, in order to always carry the essentials for wilderness survival on your body. It's actually tied to your body and you can't lose it. Um, I came up with the original based on a, a Live Say NRGS. It was a little bit narrower. This one has a little bit more, a uh, little more width, a little more length. We've got it molded so there's enough space for the bulkiest tools to sit in the flat part of the sheath rather than up against where the knife is actually molded in the retention for the knife. So the whole system lies very flat and, and includes everything you need uh, in the short term for wilderness survival. It solves some of your problems. It won't solve all of your problems. But your number one problem solver is going to be the knife itself. You've got an excellent heavy duty knife here. Uh, it's got enough enough of a handle that it does not, you can work with it for a long time. It's not gonna hurt your hand. Uh, rather than that, that thin cord wrapped steel was, uh, it was a kind of, it hurt to use it uh, for long, long term chores. But you've also got now the LED light at the bottom. This is a night eyes night it has three modes high high beam low beam and, and strobe on the back I've got a 20 millimeter button compass and this time I've done something a little bit different with it it's kind of an upgrade is that it's actually tied on the button compass is tied into the sheath if your only navigational tool is a 20 millimeter button compass you're not out of the woods yet and you cannot afford to lose this so I've got it now so it's actually tied on and you can while wearing it you can take that off on the string and still use it or you can dismount it and tie it to a, a, a pocket or have that secured in another way now working out the the options for fire uh, there's a few things available now that weren't available when I made the, the first kit. Number one are these uh, little toggles from Wazoo. I thought originally about putting one of these through the, the cords, but the, the holes are too small for that. Um, that's one option for fire. The other is uh, these little metal matches. And this is a magnesium with a, with a ferro rod striker. 
and that of course is used with prepared tinder. These are from the old kit. That is Vaseline impregnated cotton in a drinking straw. Uh, I have other options. Uh, we're gonna have other options available for that. For that. Uh, also in here, it comes with a, its striker. Uh, the seal striker for the metal match. And uh, that and, and the prepared tinder solves your problems for fire right away. Um, one of the things that I wanted to include in, in this modernized kit is an actual signal mirror. At this moment, I, we're not going to be selling the knives with the kit. Uh, we will give, uh, of course, links and, and sources for all the, the material in there. Uh, but until we can find a source for all these little items that won't kill us on shipping, it wouldn't be profitable. But this is a compact signal mirror, which uh, is extremely bright. As you can see but it also has an aiming hole in there so that you can you can actually use this to to aim but it's look how thin that is there are so many signal mirrors out there that are made of like a laminated plastic and, and glass and they're just thick they're like an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch thick and they don't work in a kit this size so that is uh, I'm glad we, I was able to find a, a mirror which brings this thing into the 21st century Let's set that aside and repack it um, other items in there, in the kit, uh, stainless, uh, steel needles, heavy gauge steel needles. I have a supply of number four wax polyester line here, which is perfect for repairing uh, clothing, boots, packs. I've used this to sew the uh, sole of a, of a kid's shoe back on when we were exploring a river in Brazil. And uh, it, I'm always repairing my clothes when I'm out in the bush. So, so right there we have uh, signals signals with the light and the mirror we have fire with the metal match and the the tinder uh, clothing repair with the line navigation with the compass and then on the back you can see there are two uh, 10 ounce bags with a double uh, gusseted bottom and a, and a double zip top uh, they're originally uh, Lancino breast milk bags but that allows me to, to treat collect and treat 20 ounces of water which is enough to get a good solid drink and if you keep repeating that obviously you can you can stay hydrated. Um, I don't usually keep uh, water tablets, water purification tablets in the kit until I'm going out because they will go bad long term. If you just leave them in there you forget that. If you remember I have to put the put fresh ones in whenever you're going to go on an adventure or uh, at least check up on those. Uh, keep here, here's I do have some in here. But I've got four aqua tabs in there and to treat the 10 ounce bags you actually just cut the aqua tab in half and use half of it so with uh, four of them in there I could treat eight of those uh, water bags so I'm very happy with the new knife and the new kit uh, you can pack this kit any way you want but it, it really helps to have these two bags on the back of it which are uh, they create a track for the, the tension system the neck adjustment system um, the paracord, uh, this is regular seven strand paracord. It's about two meters long. Um, we may be offering it with some of the, uh, with the, the, uh, the different Titan, I think a Titan, the super cord, you know, it's, it's got extra strands and fire, a fire strand. Some of them even have copper wire and, and that sort of thing. And um, we could always replace that as an option on the kit, but that cord is uh, quite a bit thicker and uh, depends on how how much you value that resource. Um, of course, the items in the kit, uh, we, we have them laid out specifically uh, so that you get maximum function. You've got your navigation and your light at the bottom because these are things you might be might use on the uh, while, while you're wearing the knife. Uh, the light, definitely. You're gonna be using that light all the time. Um, the rest of the kit is there if you need it. The handle material on these is Sure Touch, which is a laminated G10 with rubber, and uh, it's grippy. It's it, You get a it's a it's not sticky but it has a more secure grip than uh, just regular g10 especially when it gets wet uh, it's, a, it's a more secure grip it's a full flat grind and uh, these are very sharp and yeah I'm very very happy that I've partnered with Sean at uh, 51 Bravo to create the new the 21st century neck knife kit <laughs> we make these in-house the, both the sheaths and the knives there are many different options on the secure touch 
uh, material. You could make a handle out of any type of micarta you would care to, to order. I'm sure Sean could. Uh, mammoth bone. You can make one out of it with mammoth tusks. Hey, if they want one. If you want one with mammoth we tusks. We can do that. You could probably do that too. <laughs> He's a full service knife maker. That's right. Anyway, um, check it out. There's on. You can check this out on Sean's website. There will be a link in the description. And uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're in business making neck knife survival kits. We plan to sell these with, uh, you get the, the knife, the sheath, and the rubber uh, covering and the, ne and the neck cord. Um, we will provide links and lists, and I'm write, also writing a pamphlet that goes on. Uh, it explains how to place the items and to how to best use them in the bush. Thanks for watching.